Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to thank you all for joining me for another video. Today, we're going to do a good old fashioned razor rock shave. So, real quick, the razor that I'm using today is the Razor Rock 37 German Slant with the bamboo handle. This is a three-piece razor, in case you're not familiar. With a three-piece, you unscrew the handle, pull the top cap off, and it breaks into three pieces, hence three-piece. The blade I'm using today is an Astra SP or Astra Green. It's on its third shave. This handle, as you might notice, has absolutely no neural pattern to it. However, with these ridges giving it that bamboo effect, very, very grippy that way. The brush I'm using is my 24 millimeter Razor Rock um, Plus Soft Synthetic Brush in the Barber Handle. The soap for today's shave will be Razor Rock Z Papino. This is a green, um, green tobacco scent. Mm, absolutely beautiful scent. One of my favorites, as you can see, not a lot of it left. So let's go ahead. Let's move on to the shave. This is, a, this is a synthetic brush, or since this is a synthetic brush, I don't have to worry about wetting it for very long. Dry my hands real fast. Just wet the brush for a few, you know, get the bristles good and wet. Shake off the excess water. Start loading. Um, last shave I did, um, I was using my um, pure satin tip um, black fiber brush, and I said that it was you know scratchier than this um, Razor Rock plus soft brush. And I just want to set the record straight. This, these Plasoft brushes, they are not scritchy at all. They are absolutely wonderful as far as the face feel goes. As you can see, that loaded up very quickly. I'll wet my face. These Razor Rock soaps. If you're new to this and you're unfamiliar with the Razor Rock soaps, it's not really a soap, it's considered a croak, which is kind of a cross between a soap and a, and a, a cream. But, um, very easy to load. Very easy to whip up a lather on your face with. Um, as you can see, I'm mostly a face latherer. Um, I got a nice Crown King Scuttle, which uh, when the weather cools down, I'll start experimenting that with that some. Um, I got that for Father's Day. Like Geo Fat Boy says, for your lip, take your, finger, your, fourth, your index finger and your thumb. That works very good. you can see this mm, I need a little bit of water these Razor Rock soaps or cropes you know, I mm, love the smell Let me whip up real quick Paint, do a paint, paint over, even it out, and 
this Z Pepino is like seven bucks. Oh. For the top. It's a good price. Um, if you hear people say, oh, Razor Rock, it's a cheap soap. And don't, you know, if you've never tried it and you hear people say, oh, that Razor Rock, it's a cheap soap. You know, why does it go for such low prices? And hey, maybe they're used to shaving with Castle Forbes. First pass with the growth here on the left. Now these slants, as you can see how the blade slants down. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but the blade slants down. If you take this plate apart, this head apart, the head, the base plate looks like it's been twisted. But that's what gives it that slant. And it's very efficient. But, uh, Oh, by the way, I just got done with the shower. Got my whiskers all cleaned up, hydrated. Um, oh, so much. <laughs> um, flip the blade over. Um, I got two days growth. These, some people would say that, you know, um, these slants are more aggressive or efficient um, or feel more aggressive. Um, some say that they don't feel more aggressive, but me, um, it feels more aggressive. In fact, when you get this razor, it comes with five Derby Extra Blades and when I got into this hobby, I uh, watched Chris Bailey, um, when he was a traditional shaving evangelist. Hang on, let me rest my face. There we go. Um, Shave Busta. I still watch him. Um, Nick Shaves. Um, now, Nick Shaves, he thought this was a good, Darby extra was a good blade. Um, Chris Bailey. However, and Shave Busta, they did not. And, um, uh, so I really didn't give them a try at first. And then I started seeing a lot of guys use them. And, uh, besides Nick Shaves. And, uh, And I learned that, hey, um, make your own decisions about a piece of gear. Or soap. Oh, man. A blade. Whatever. Make your own decisions about them. You know, don't let, don't let everybody tell you, hey, don't let people tell you, hey, don't do it. Now, if you've got 100 people coming at you saying that soap is absolute crap or that blade will rip you up, whatever, um, then maybe, or let me refer to If you ask 100 you know, 50 people about a blade, a razor, whatever. And 
139 of them, or 143 of them say it's absolute crap. Well, then maybe, maybe it might not be as good as some as you might hope it would be. Cross the Grove. Now, I could probably, when I'm done with this second pass, I could probably get away with just rinsing off, slapping on some alum and some aftershave, and just go. But, going against the grain of my neck, Yeah, you've got the majority of people saying, hey, this is a bad whatever. There might be something to it. Oh yeah, almost lost my train of thought. But yeah, I could probably, for the most part, if I was just wanting to do a quick, quick shave, well, I could probably go ahead and slap on some aftershave. Um, aftershave, which is aftershave? And my Nivea shaving balm. I think I got myself. No fault of the razor on my dad. I was yapping. Um, Probably be good with the shave with this with this here. Um, yeah, I could definitely be happy with this if I was just gonna go out real quick. Um, you know, want to go somewhere for the day. I could probably, I could probably go ahead and just say screw it and go. However. I don't shave daily. I only shave every other day. Um, so we're going to lather up one more time for a third pass. Um, yeah, I was watching a Kevy Shaves video. And uh, it was oh, red, white, and big blue or something like that shave. And uh, the red and white was for, because he's Scottish. Um, and uh, so the red and white was for Russell Red. And the big blue was for um, a brush. <laughs> and this brush was, I forget who it was made by, I can't remember, but I guess it was made for guys with big heads and big faces, because um, <laughs> the knot in that handle was freaking 38 millimeters. Um, I thought that the, the Razor Rock Hulk was big when I heard about it. Um, at 34 millimeters but my god 38 millimeters and he ended up of course soaking the brush for a few minutes and pulled it out and squeezed the water into the sink and the amount of water that came out was just freaking insane <laughs> I mean I've got a couple of badger brushes and uh, badgers, they do hold quite a bit of water. And you do gotta wring them out. So. Um, in fact, when I let my brother borrow my uh, whip dog 24 millimeter high mountain white and a tall amber handle, he went ahead and he was amazed when he squeezed that knot out. 
kids like, oh my God, the amount of water that came out was just insane. Hang on, I got one of my girlfriend's hairs here wrapped around my finger. But I mean, yeah, it was, it was, it was an insane amount of water that came out of that 38 millimeter knot. Going against the growth. As you can hear, because I gotta go at an angle. Because I still get hair. It grows at an angle like a freaking arrow on the sides here, like this, and like this. I mean. Just weird the way some hair patterns grow in. And oh yeah, and I was reading a post from a a page up where I grew from the town I grew up in, and uh, one girl I, I knew from years, years, years back. She shared a post that this one guy put on that on there, and uh, it was a true, true testament to how stupid some of us guys can be. And if any of you guys out there want to get offended by that, then you know, hey, I'm sorry, but it's true. Us guys pull stupid, stupid stunts. <laughs> It was a post about this one fella who ended up going to a gun show and he picked his wife up a little stun gun, a little taser, whatever you want to call it. I guess it'd be a stun gun because, you know, tasers going up on the lip. Because, you know, traders got those little darts that go out and stick in you and zap your ass. But, um. So it was a stun gun he picked up. And it said on it that it would deliver 100. thousand volts and it said on the package that one burst like a one second burst would confuse and disorient your attacker um, two second burst would drop a person a three second burst would and this is the claims that the guy said uh, stun gun made a three second burst would put a person on the ground and make them flop like a fish um, and of course he's like, I got to test this out because I'm getting it from my wife. He wanted to make sure his wife was safe. I understand that. Um, my girlfriend, she's going to be driving for Uber and I'm kind of thinking about getting one of those, picking up one of those for her, a stun gun of some kind for night, night shifts from when she drives at night. But anyways, so... He went ahead. First, he tested that against the, the side of his wife's stainless steel housing on her microwave. And it put a scorch mark. And he said it made a really cool blue arc between the, between the, the prongs. And then several days later, it was just him and the cat. And he went ahead and he was trying out, you know, he's thinking about it. And he was wearing a pair of shorts and flip-flops. 
And he said that he went ahead and decided to hit the cat, zap the cat, but he thought, no, sweet old cat, I won't do it. So he tried it on himself, and when he came to, he has no idea how long he had been down. But his bent glasses were across the room on top of the TV. His cat was up on a mantle. I'm sure some of it was hyperbole, but it was just funny. You know, the cat was basically on the fireplace mantle clinging to a picture meowing. Um, his recliner was upside down, not where he originally was, but he was curled up in the fetal position with his left arm underneath him hurting, and um, he had a, you know, cloud of smoke around because his hair was singed. He said his nipples were on fire and his testicles climbed up inside of him. And he was sure he crapped himself. But, you know, it was just the way the guy went ahead and, and worded it. It was just absolutely hilarious. And I'm sure some of that, like I said, was just hyperbole. But the one thing which I'm pretty sure is true was when he says his wife threatens him with it. Um, when he when he gets uh, smart ass with her, she'll threaten him with it, and he says he just kind of like you know like backs off like no 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 no. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off and come back, and I don't think no no I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off real quick, come back, apply a little bit of aloe, and move on from there. Anyways, I'm back, and we're gonna do some aloe. A little bit of burn. Um, you know, I don't care what I do. I don't care how light my touch is. Alum always stings. Um, but you know, it's part of my it's part of my routine. You know. Um, it's just something I do. Anyways, so yeah, we'll let this sit for a few minutes. But yeah, um, that German 37 is just an absolutely wonderful shaver. Um, and yeah, no, no problems with putting a handle on or anything. Uh, because of that cross-threading issue that I've heard that some of them has. I guess I got a good one. But uh, anyways, um, which I don't know if that is true or not, but it may be, it may not. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, and then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to come back for the, um, or I should say, I'm going to rinse this off, and then I'm going to do my head shave, and then I'll be back for the post. So, I'll see you all in a few. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, I'm back and um, done with my face and my head. Um, face is nice. The post shave with the Zipapino before I put any witch hazel or anything like that on. It's good. Um, my head's nice and smooth. That slant just, I mean, it just takes it down. It takes it down good and proper, as the um, Brits might say. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the post shave. First, we'll use my Dollar General Witch Hazel. Give a little bit of a shake. Probably don't need to shake it, but you know, I'm just so used to shaking everything else. Yeah, just went ahead a little earlier, got there on eBay, me and my girlfriend got there on eBay. And, um, or the sleeve of blades that I'm familiar with, well, that I've used, which is the Derby Extra, a blitch, which I like. Um, under 10 bucks, eight something for a sleeve on eBay. Free shipping till August something from the store I got them from. 
and also ordered a hundred of those Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades, the uh, the Saloon Packs, um, or the Saloon Pack, but ordered a hundred of those because, I mean, I've not heard one bad thing about those blades yet. I mean, Paul H. Films got like 10, Paul H. got like 10 shades off of one blade. Oh, I mean, that, that that's good. That's real good. Um, so I figured, what the hell? I'll go ahead and take a shot and, you know, if I don't like them, then I'll just swap them with somebody for like a sleeve of Astra's or something. I don't know. But anyways, but so I'm sure I'll probably like them. Um, or let my brother try them. If he likes them, sell them the sleeve and buy a new sleeve. Something I do like. Anyways, um, the aftershave, unfortunately, is not the Razor Rock Z Pepino. Next time I order the Z Pepino, I'm going to get the combo pack where you get the aftershave along with the soap. But it's generic Brute Green. I do have the Brute Green, but I like the smell of this one, too. And it just, it's a Fougere scent, from what I understand. Ah, damn. Aftershave down. Um, so, you know, and this, ooh, got some burn. Um, the generic smells pretty damn close to the, to the real fruit green. So, next time I think we'll put on the aftershave bomb first. Anyways. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I just think this brew green, it, it just goes good scent wise along with the Z Pepino. So, but that's just my nose. Your nose might differ. Um, I'm glad it's a plastic bottle that would have sucked if it was a glass bottle and hit that, hit the bottom of that porcelain sink. We wouldn't have had much left. And since that's got some menthol in it, which I actually think the menthol kick in that generic is actually higher than the than uh, than the real the real deal. I'm gonna use Nivea after shave cooling balm. I love this stuff. Um, I know that there's guys out there that just has you know that just has. You know, they'll have full sets, man. They'll have shave, soap, aftershave, and balm all in the same scent. And that's a little much. And that's good and all, but um, what the hell? Uh, but you know, I just, I don't know, you know, I figure that once you slap on the aftershave, slap on your aftershave, then you should be good. And this Nivea sensitive is, it's pretty, this Nivea cooling balm, you know, it's kind of a neutral scent. I mean, it's got some scent to it, but it's not real strong. Um, and no, I did not wipe a booger off my nose, folks. I just had an itch. Um, set that there. But anyway, so that's the shave. Let's go ahead and let's real quick take a look at what we used. The razor was the Razor Rock 37 German or Razor Rock German 37 slant with the stainless steel bamboo handle. This handle is 316 L stainless steel, which is like top notch. The blade is an Astra Superior Platinum on its third shave and it's still going strong. The brush is the Razor Rock plus off 24 millimeter not in the barber handle 
the soap. is one of my favorite scents, Regerog Z Pepino. The aftershave, generic fruit green. We have the Dollar General Witch Hazel. And the Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm. Anyways, that's my shave. Um, I hope you all have good days, great nights, great shaves, and I will see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.